to the femininity. Hello, and welcome, welcome back to the femininity. Welcome to the place Steve, where we see pants. Today we're discussing the apparent pipeline of the Black Women's Empowerment say. Group to lesbianism. We'll delve into the recent revelations about Priscilla, the Queenmaker, by B. Taylor, and give our take on the real agenda behind Black Women's Empowerment Groups. At the Femininity Tea, we will try our best to refrain from taking sides and view this issue through a femininity lens. So let's get into it. Princella, known as the Queenmaker, positions herself as an empowerment coach who assists women in discovering their power and purpose through understanding male psychology. She is notorious for making provocative statements, often labeling men as animals, naturally abusive, incapable of love, and inferior to women. Her philosophy advocates for a society dominated by women, where men are passed around for the purposes of procreation. This does not sound like it comes from a healed person. After hearing about her experiences of sexual assault and violations by men, it's clear that her narrative has been shaped by her past and a need to protect herself. We are deeply touched by her story. B. Taylor, a journalist by profession, formed a connection with Priscilla during a time when she faced online attacks from the Manosphere. Their interactions quickly turned into a romantic relationship. Observing Priscilla, one notes her masculine attire and demeanor, including her choice of words, tone, and mannerisms, ironically resembling the very type of men she warns other women about. Additionally, she taunts women about their desire for men and their sexual attraction to men, suggesting there's something wrong with wanting the opposite sex. Personally, that's where I stopped listening. Embracing the deep connection and the beauty of sexual intimacy within a marriage is my birthright. This approach and behavior raises questions about her genuine motives. Is she truly aiming to empower women? Or is she positioning herself to use and influence them for her own gain of money and power? How can she claim to empower black women when many still deeply want and value relationships with men? Clearly, B. Taylor not only took the bait, but fully embraced Priscilla's ideologies. And we see where that has led her. The rhetoric surrounding decentering men appears as a talking point pushed as a movement that attracts women who may still be healing from trauma. It positions itself as a refuge, offering a sense of community and relatability for those who feel marginalized or disenfranchised. This approach can be seen as exploiting these women. Black women empowerment groups, often led by individuals who have not fully healed themselves, may propagate ideologies rooted in hate, distrust, and fear. Figures like Cynthia G have even made extreme calls, such as advocating for the abortion of black male babies, highlighting the problematic aspects of these movements. Advocating for a society without men is not only impractical, but also implicitly promotes lesbianism. Ironically, this is quite similar to the red pill mindset. It promotes withdrawing from traditional interactions with the opposite sex, which when it comes to men is clearly gay. My biggest takeaway from B. Taylor's expose centers on my concerns for Princella's approach to motherhood. Princella prides herself on being logical rather than being an emotional female. However, emotions play a crucial role in intuition and human connection, qualities essential in parenting. Being a mother involves being emotional, caring, compassionate, and nurturing. Princella's disdain for these traits, as if there is something wrong with being emotional, raises questions. If Princella is so focused on embodying a traditionally masculine provider role, what impact does this have on her daughter? Is she being neglected? How can you empower women if you are not embracing the woman within yourself? I have many questions, but I'll conclude this video with a crucial note. Please be cautious when seeking therapy or deep guidance from influencers, YouTubers, or any online platforms, especially concerning personal growth or healing. Always consider consulting with qualified professionals outside those platforms. The ideology of black women's empowerment, as presented by some on these platforms, often appears more commercialized and sensationalized than genuinely transformative, focusing more on profit than on true empowerment. I thank you for watching. Remember, stay sweet. Welcome to the femininity. Tea. Welcome to the place where we sip and cheer, where we steep in all things feminine. the tea with grace and traditional insights embrace and femininity one video at a time one video embrace at a time. and femininity one video at a time keep sipping on this femininity stay sweet 
Like, share, comment, and subscribe.